Welcome, my sisters and my brothers, as we pray today's Mass, which is Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. We gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we always ask God to help us, to guide us, to strengthen us when we start something new or continue something new each day. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to our prayers of those who call on you, that they may thirst for what you generous, generously promise and may ha always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have, them call, I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response for today, O oh God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. My God, have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May all the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me 
might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak it on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a line in the first reading today that strikes me. It says, Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. Now, my brothers and sisters, right before this, the Holy Spirit spoke to these men and said, Send Paul... Uh, Barnabas and Saul, I almost called him Paul, sent Barnabas and Saul to do the work that I ask. Now, I must tell you, if the Holy Spirit were ever to whisper in my ear some words, I think I would be tempted to run out and do it really quickly because I might be scared or I might be worried that I wouldn't do it correctly. But notice what these powerful, faithful people do. And Jesus does this over and over on his journey to Jerusalem, completing their fasting and prayer they laid hands on them and sent them off. My brothers and sisters, everything that we do must start with prayer, must start with contemplation of God's work and mercy and love. We have to start with prayer. Otherwise, are we really checking in to see what God wants? My friends, let us now join together in prayer for all of our needs. For the church, may God bring unity where it is needed and build bridges where there is division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected leaders and their advisors, may the wisdom and peace of Christ inspire them in legislating and leading their people justly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick the sick in mind, body, or spirit. May Christ the healer touch them through the hands and presence of us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local faith community, may God grant us courage to proclaim the word of God with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they be welcomed into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass, we're praying especially for a St. Monica intention for Leroy Hobbs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Brothers and sisters, let us always add our prayer that God needs to hear today. For all these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent us the words of eternal life in your Son. Hear now our prayers, which we ask in his holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who holds up to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, 
his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. My friends, let us pray prayer number three for various needs and occasions. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our, ta by our, by our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit and grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm in us the bond of communion together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the other bishops with priests and deacons and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing in their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation 
and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant to us also when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Thomas and St. Monica, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. God bless you, and I love you so much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended, let us go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.